unicorn. I found a cute skinny one. Look at the shape on this one here. Well, I found lots and lots of acorns. <gasps> Children, since you're all enjoying the fall so much, I thought I'd make a special camera that will help you enjoy it even more. Ta-da! The Biggie, Biggie, Biggie Mark One. The Biggie, Biggie, Biggie Mark One? All you do is point it at something you want to take a better look at and then press the blue button. Oh! What do you think? It's so much easier to study the acorn now. It's so big I can't even tell it's an acorn. This is fun! And does it only work for acorns? It works on anything. Here, give it a try. Oh! Woohoo! Get bigger! 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 You two! Huh? Slow yeah. down! Uh, you no. shouldn't <laughs> use that device on living beings! Huh? Why not? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! I'll have to press this button! It's a good thing I decided to add a safety button for making things smaller, too. Oh, wait! Have you guys seen Flappy? Oh, no! Where did he go? Hey, guys! Mr. Roar said Turk may small, too! Turk may back! <laughs> oh, wow! Hey, an acorn cap! That means that I'm as big as an acorn right now! Then I guess nobody will notice me! Popcorn? Maybe he ran away into the woods. Oh, Flappy! Hey, I'm here, Shimatero! Look at that hop! It's so high! He's a champion! No, huh? a superhero! No, he's a king! A hot boy king! Hey, are you guys... Wait, you're not acorns. Popcorns! Popcorns? We love hopping! That's why we're hopcorns! Are you our king? What? A king? Come with us, uh, your uh, highness! Uh, hey, wait! <laughs> what? what? So you might have turned Flappy small, too? Yeah, there's a chance that's the case. Especially if he got caught in that beam of light. We should become small, too, so we can go and look for Flappy. Mr. Rorson, can you make the three of us small? Hmm, very well. Get ready. Good luck, but make sure you avoid anywhere that looks dangerous. We will! Wow. 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 Your Highness, welcome to our village. The villagers are so excited. Greetings, Your Highness. As I said to your friends, I'm not Your Highness or anything like that. Eat as much as you want. <laughs> No what? <laughs> That's yummy! Hey. Villagers, it's time to dance. Hop, 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 corn, 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 hop! Wow! Flappy! Where are you? Can you hear us? Hop, 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 corn, 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 hop! Look, they're acorns! Hey, can you help us? We're looking for our friend Flappy. Have you seen anyone who has wings that look like this and can fly really high? That's our king! Our king! This way! This way! What do they mean? Let's find out! <laughs> hop! 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 Cord! 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 Hop! Oh! Flappy! Shimajiro! You're here! What are you doing? Well, I'm not actually sure, but they started dancing and it was just so fun! Are these the king's friends? And are they kings too? Hop! Hop! Huh? What's that about? You just need to hop around a bit. Hop, hop, you know? Like this? Hop! Hop! <sighs> oh, but that's how you hop, isn't it? They're not kings! Yeah, they're not kings! Not, not even close! close. Uh, I'm sorry? Your, Your Highness! 
it is! Ha ha! Again? Here. Our king is amazing! Hooray for our king! Hip! Hip! Hooray! I get it now. They're impressed by the fact that Flappy jumps really high. And I guess with that cap, the acorns must think Flappy is one of them. But we can't jump that high. Look! I can even do stuff like this! Whoa! Wow. Wow. Yeah. Wait, these are babies! Tiny hopcorns! Oh. oh, my acorns! They fell out! Ah! He, he's putting the babies in his pocket! Oh, he's no king! And he's no hopcorn! You bad guy, get out of here! What? Yeah. Uh, I... Let's go, Preppy! <laughs> For you. <laughs> Mr. Bryson! Thank you! <laughs> I'm sorry, Hopcorn friends. I'm not really your king at all. Nuh-uh, you are our king! Huh? A king brave enough to protect us! A real king! Hip hip hooray for the king! Oh! Did you hear that, Flappy? This is making me blush. <laughs> huh? Oh! It's Flappy! And the other kids, too! Yoo-hoo! I'm big! Me, too! Yay! What? A Hopcorn Village? Yeah, and all the villagers, they treated me like I was their king! Well, at least for a little while, right? Hopcorns? Village King? Well, I really don't get this at all. Ah, oh, never mind. So, shall we go back to picking acorns now? Yeah, and I'll pick more than you. <laughs> <laughs> Trains are fun! Hey, Dad. Good morning. Good morning. Huh? Oh, this article? Master Gigi taught Mr. Rorson how to become an inventor, right? Uh-huh. He probably did something awesome so he could get into the newspaper, right? He recently won an award that's given to the authors of the world's greatest inventions. World's greatest? Oh, wow! Yep. According to this article, Master Gigi will receive his award today at a hotel on the island. Wow! I have an idea, Dad. Can I go over to Mr. Rorson's house after breakfast? Hmm? I'm gonna ask Mr. Rorson to tell Master Gigi that I said congratulations on the award. Sure, sounds great. Go on ahead. Mimelin! Richard, hello! Ah, Shimajiro. Are you also here because of Master Gigi's award? Yeah, and I guess you are too. <laughs> hey there, Shimajiro. Did you also want me to congratulate Master Gigi on the award for you? Uh-huh. Go, go! You must hurry or you will never make it to the train on time. You're right. I promise I'll deliver your messages, okay? Bye! Bye, Bye Mr. Rosen! Bye! I'll take good care of the Wonder House. Thank you, Richard! in such a hurry. I hope he didn't forget anything. Well, what do you say we go in and have some juice? <laughs> huh? What is it, Richard? This is the present Mr. Warson got Mr. Gigi to congratulate him on the award. What? How could Mr. Warson forget something so important? He wouldn't have forgotten it if he wasn't in a hurry to leave. 
He's probably still on his way to the station right now. Hold on, let me see if I can catch him on his phone. What? Mr. Worson even forgot his phone <gasps> here. Oh, mon dieu! Oh, Mr. Worson! But Richard, it's really important for that present to get to Master Gigi somehow, don't you think? Yes, I do. The present is a sleeping pillow that Mr. Worson made just for Master Gigi. A sleeping pillow? It's a pillow that has the ability to make you fall asleep anywhere and anytime you want. That's nice of Mr. Rorson. Hey, Richard, why don't we all go and take the present to Mr. Rorson? Mm-hmm. Well, it seems like Mr. Rorson's train has already left the station. That's too bad. What are we going to do? What are you two doing here? Huh? Gento! We were trying to get this to Mr. Rorson before he got on his train, but we were too late. And do you know which station he's getting off at? I think he said the hotel is right next to Resort Station, if I remember correctly. Resort Station? And you said the train Mr. Rorson is on just left the station, is that right? Uh-huh. Let's see. That probably means that Mr. Rorson is on the 9.30 slow train. But if you take the 10 o'clock express, you should get to Resort Station at 12.30 before he does. Wow, how do you know all this? I love trains, so I happen to know almost everything about them. Ha! That is wonderful, Kento! I'll go buy tickets! So what brings you here today, Kento? I came here because I wanted to take pictures of the all-new express train that just came out. Wow, if you're here to take pictures of it, then that means it must be really special, huh? Oh, but it's beyond special. It's a deluxe super express train, and it's so awesome that it can go around the entire island in just half a day. Oh, I see. This train. By the way, the seats can also do this. Très bien, très bien. I could even take an amazing nap right now. Let me try that too. Look, look, you can see the ocean. Oh. Wow, it's so pretty. But everything's going by so quickly too. That just shows how fast this train is actually going, right, Richard? He's already asleep. <laughs> Mr. Rorson! Huh? Good gravy! What are the three of you doing here? Let's see. Don't you think that you're forgetting something, maybe? Who, me? Maybe you're forgetful, Richard, but I'm definitely not forgetful. Shimajiro? Yep. Here. Yeah, my present for Master Gigi. Here, you also forgot this. My phone? You really need to slow down sometimes, Mr. Roysen. Thank you. <laughs> you have no idea how embarrassing this could have been for me. Uh, thank you, kids. Thanks so much. Sounds like the ceremony is over. Hmm. Uh, finally, suiting up is not my cup of tea. Master Gigi, congratulations on the award. Why, if it isn't Rorson, seeing you here today warms my heart. I happen to hear that you've been having trouble sleeping recently. So I decided to make something for you and bring it all the way here. Ah, a pillow. It's a sleeping pillow that plays the soothing sounds of rivers flowing and the winds blowing through forests. Very nice, Rorson. Thank you. Hmm? <laughs> ah, if it isn't Shimajiro and Mimi Lin, and even Richard. Master Gigi, congratulations on getting your award. Well, thank you so much. I didn't think that you three would be coming to the ceremony, too. Well, the thing is, uh... 
<laughs> they came here to bring me the sleeping pillow and my phone, which I accidentally left at home. Roar, son. <laughs> yes? Uh... Hmm, knowing you, you spent all night working on the pillow, so you weren't able to focus. Yes, actually. I guess you're still as clumsy as you've always been. But what matters is that you clearly have some good friends who truly care about you. Master G! <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> Thanks to you, I was able to ride this brand new express train twice. Shh. Huh? Oh. I'll be better once I apply some ointment. Oh, the usual one, right? Thank you, dear. Oh, no! I forgot I used it all up. Mom said she won't be home until late tonight. I can go to the store with Niske for you. Niske! Hold on! Huh? For once, Niske is doing his homework without anyone telling him to. Wow, he never does that. I'll ask your mother to buy some more tomorrow. But, um... Oh, I can go to the store by myself. Huh? I've been to the pharmacy with Niske many times before. I know how to get there. Are you sure? I'll be fine. It's not too far from here. It would be so helpful if you could go. Okay, here's some money. Could you also get some medicine for my back pain, please? The box looks like this. Sure, I'll look for this box, got it. See you in a bit. Why is it closed? It's supposed to be open today. Hey, Nikki! Shimajiro. Is something wrong? Why is the store closed? Oh, if I remember it correctly, my mom and dad said this pharmacy moved to a different location not too long ago. They have a new location? I'm not 100% sure. Oh, no. But I really need to get some medicine for Grandma. <laughs> oh, is that so, Nikki? Well, can you buy them somewhere else? This is the only pharmacy that sells the medicine my grandma uses. That's a bummer. Anyway, I guess I have to find out how to get there. Let's see. Head east, then turn a corner here. Are you sure you'll remember all that? Don't you want to write it down? Um, that doesn't look quite right. I can draw it for you. No, it's fine. <laughs> Do you want me to go with you? Oh, will you? Sure! I had plans with Flappy, but we had to cancel. So I'm free now, no problem at all. Well, thanks. It's this way. Awesome. Easier than I thought. We will get there in no time. Okay, this doesn't look right. I don't think they sell medicine here. Where did we go wrong? Hmm. Ah, I think we messed up right over here. See? Oh, right! There was another road back there. Okay, let's go. Well, this doesn't look right either. Oh, no. This definitely isn't the pharmacy. Hmm. Oh! Look, it's Richard! Hey, maybe he knows where it is. Huh? But, uh... I don't really feel like telling him that we're lost. What? Why not? <laughs> ah! He went the other way! Don't worry about it. I figured it all out now. Are you sure? <laughs> nope, not right either. Why can't we just get there? Let's go that way. Uh, uh, okay, we've been here before. Oh, where could it 
it be? Nikki, this is no time to be stubborn. Let's go find someone and ask them. But you want to get the medicine to your grandma, right? Uh. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, you're right. Sorry. Well, who do you think we can ask? I think it was Zota who lived around here, or... Ah! <laughs> hey, Richard! <laughs> Bonjour, Shimajiro. Do you have a minute? Oui, I do. I'm just on my way to the pharmacy. I need to be there for work. The pharmacy? They have a new location, but there's no way to find it without a map. I tried, but I ended up getting lost while looking for it. The map to the pharmacy! Yeah. Renovating? What does that mean? It means the inside of the store is being remade to look brand new. So right now, it's under construction. Ah, I see. That's why the pharmacy is in a different place. That means it'll come back to the old place after the construction is done, right? We, oui. And even better, there'll be a grand reopening. Yay! Can't wait to see it. Oh, here we are. Mm -hmm. Do you see the medicine for your grandma? Hmm, it's not where it usually is. Ah, oh, here it is. Now the other one. Ah, oh, it's this one. These two things, please. Sure, glad I can help. Okay, so here's the money. One, two, three, four. Oh, you seem to be missing a few coins. <gasps> yep, that's not enough. No way! But Grandma said there was enough money in the wallet when she gave it to me. Did you grab the right things? Hmm. She said it was these two, I know, so the box looks just like this one. What can I do? Um... Huh. Smaller package. Ah, this will do. Ha! Yes, you have just enough to buy that one. Woohoo! <laughs> I'm so glad. <laughs> I'd like to buy these, please. Sure, here's your change and your receipt. You know, Niske always tells me that I should always hold on to the change and the receipt, too. Whoa. Come back soon. As you walk out the shop, just turn the corner and you'll definitely recognize your way home from there. Thank you, Richard! He's right, we always walk around here. Thank you so much, Shimajiro. I wouldn't have found the pharmacy if it wasn't for you. Bye, Nikki. I hope she feels better. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm home! Let's see. That's the right change and the right medicine as well. Hooray! Oh, and did you have trouble finding the store? I just heard it changed locations, right? It was very tough. But it turns out that Shimajiro and Richard helped me find it. You went through so much trouble to get this for me. Thank you, dear. Mm -hmm. Grandma? I want to help you with the back pain medicine. I'll get all better soon, thanks to your help. <laughs> <laughs>